I've been whistling a lot lately. I don't know what that's about. know if somebody's in the chat so listen anybody who really watches this at any given time welcome sending you guys all the love so i for the last couple of days i had been seeing 411 right um just like you know as you see you know angel numbers and things like that have been seeing 411 and what i normally break do you know you break down and you find it the the map, the breakdown number, and try to see the significance of what the number is. So, I've just been going through a lot of transformative energy, like a lot of you guys, as far as the collective, because we're all one. You know, just we're at different paces, places, and spaces. Y'all already know. So, I have been seeing moths, right? Well, my son had been really seeing moths outside of the hotel window where we're at, right? And moths are a sign of transformation. They're also connected to the moon. So that's why you see them at night and butterflies, you know, connected to the sun and they're a sign of rebirth, right? Very similar moths and butterflies. So last night, well, I'll post a video, but last night it was just like, we're on the 20th floor and there were so many bugs and they like they had lights. So I'm like, okay, they must be like fireflies. But they were like, uh, it, it was like just hundreds of them. There were so many on top of the moths that we were seeing, right? So then I get up and I'm on um, TikTok briefly and I see somebody talking about this portal and this manifestation, which a lot of people, when it comes to portals, I think sometimes it's you using your power more so, right? But it's an opportunity for you to bring forth whatever you, it's like the, what am I, it's an influx of energy to support your manifestation. Because I got the, the, the call to manifest, manifest, to really do something to ignite that energy and it came to fruition today. So for some of you guys, you really need to tap into this energy. I made, um, did a little money chant, you know, uh, it wasn't my own. It was something that was reposted, but I just did it, you know. You know, you can use the sounds on TikTok. So I'm going to repost it here on YouTube for those who are now following me on. Well, I'm going to repost it on here for those, okay? So let's see. This is not going to be a long reading, okay? But what do you want? What do you want, souls? Have you been doing your shadow work? Have you been really going deep in, in, in taming the wild beast and seeing with spirit? Because some of you guys have very specific lessons or understandings that you are needing, that you have been needing, right? That shadow card is showing. What have you, yeah, look at that shadow card. Ain't going nowhere. Shadow work, because this is how you get your power. I was just watching, I really um, am, admire this one YouTuber, right? But I feel like when people address certain things, like it's people gonna always be talking shit about me. It's gonna be people that's always gonna be judging me. It's always gonna be people who don't like me, who like, ugh, her. That bitch, that flat booty bitch, that bitch, this, this bitch, this, she ain't did this, she ain't got no job, she ain't got her, her son, and then they ain't got no place to live. <laughs> this shit is funny to me. But the moment I really start going in and singularly addressing people, hey, honey, I ain't seen you in a while. Um, how you doing? The moment I start really going in and addressing people and really giving them my energy, my time, my voice, I'm giving my power away. That's that type of energy. Are you one that when people say things about you, you just got to defend yourself? It's okay to feel some type of way. I mean, we are human. You don't got to act like something don't bother you if it really bothers you. But what I guarantee you is that the more you do your shadow work, the less you will be bothered. Good, baby. I'm good. I'm really, really good. And I'm glad you're good. 
the more you do your shadow work and the less you give this, this is the, you're not going to do this as much. And it's going to come to a point where you won't do it at all. People won't even understand why you're not doing that. Like, why is she not being bothered by this stuff? Listen, no weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. So I'm not going to give you the power. I'm not going to give you the attention. I'm not going to give you dominion over my life to address however you feel about me because you are one. I mean, just be honest, you're foolish, baby. So that just goes for whoever needs that message, right? So yeah, your intentions, your fire, your passion. This is a clearing and a very power circulation within your sacral. Now I had mentioned um, on, a, on a video, I don't remember if it was on here, TikTok. Right. I don't remember if it was on TikTok or here, but anyways, I was talking about um I was talking about masturbating, right? So I do know once you like like I said, once you know something, that's one thing. But when you apply it and you really get it, that's when it takes flight. So some of you guys are probably aware that you know masturbation is a way to really manifest what you want. You can use master masturbation, especially, well, let me just add that little bit in there. Do that shadow work. And you will instantly <laughs> manifest damn near. For some of you guys, you are just that powerful. You will instantly almost manifest what you want, okay? So it's that type of energy, right? So, oh, because look at this. As soon as I said manifest what you want, look at that. You, I was not, I just opened, I just split the deck. Prosperity, right? Secret. I don't know if this is some type of secret money you're not going to be telling nobody about. This has, somebody lives with their aunt, or their cousin, their sister, or somebody they're close to. Don't even mention it. This is not for the world. If the world was to know about this advancement, then they would have told somebody. You don't have to tell people what's going on with you on a personal level if you're an adult, okay? Okay, you dedicated, you guys. Talk to your ancestors. Is there any libations? Okay, I y'all know my situation as far as where you know I live. I flow. Okay, I flow by I fly by the seat of my pants. That's how I live. Okay, sorry if that triggers some people, but even in those moments, you have to find a way to honor yourself, to honor your ancestors. Okay, you can do like what I would say a little portable altar. You know, get them get a glass or a cup of water. I, I did a pastry and then I wrote out um, a note to my guys, to my ancestors. So that's something that some of you guys might want to consider, okay? Because some of you guys need money to make some type of payment towards something, whether it's your rent or whatever, you know. Somebody's getting ready to buy a card. All right, what's the messages? Dedication, your loyalty, right? Loyalty to spirit. Hi, Yolanda Boo. Your loyalty to um, spirit, right? Yourself, right? Your altar. Some of you guys need to dust or cleanse your um, uh, your your altar space. What are the messages? We got awakening. It's a clear path. It's a clear way. Your soul is lightened. For some of you guys, this has to do with your aura. Your aura is like, I, oh, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. It kind of reminds me of something. Some of you guys may go into like a convenience store, a gas station or something like that, and somebody's going to see. You're going to look like a princess or a queen. You're going to look like something so... I hear oddly gorgeous, like, and, and you're like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like, <laughs> I've, okay. I don't want to say this, but this is what I'm hearing. It's like a peasant, like maybe I mean another life for those, you know, I know we all got different beliefs. I'm not trying to force my beliefs on nobody. We all have free will, but like in another life, maybe you had dominion over a small kingdom or something. And this was somebody who, you know, it's, it's almost like that energy, if that makes sense, right? What is the message? Protection, and then we have union. I hear passively aggressive. Passive aggressive, but I hear passively aggressive. Lighten the low, right? This is somebody, some of you guys may, something may, something or someone may come into your, come in your path that's going to lighten the load for you this is something about passive aggressive like it's coming in fast abruptly but it's like tamed you know it's like just for you not too much 
not too little. What is the messages? The secret. What is the secret? We're going to clarify. Um, into um, this very uh, strong, powerful energy surging amongst the collective for those who are doing the shadow work. This is going to really, oh, okay, I hear manifest, but I was going to say this is really going to um, resonate for you if you have been really doing the shadow work over the last six weeks. If you have had intense, um, uh, intense surges of shadow work, like it's just one thing after another, after another, after another, like this spirit, this guy, like somebody saying again, like again and again, but it's coming to a close out, right? That was like, um, that was a close up of something that needed to cycle. Some things that needed to cycle out in the last cycle didn't completely, it's like a re rinse. When we were little, my grandmother would wash clothes, and on the after the first rinse, she would start the washer again. So it's kind of like that energy, if that makes sense. Oh, see, it came out again, intensification and prosperity, right? So this is going to be an influx of, of harmony with you. I think that there are was some things that needed to be tended to and cleansed as far as your financial situation. Um, if you, gosh, I wish, I'm gonna share that video after I go live because it's a video where, um, I, like I said, I was doing that little money chant, but it's like, um, not only are you asking for money, but you're prepared for the money. You're mentally, you're psychologically, you're spiritually connected. Um, for those of you who have had issues with overspending, emotionally spending, just like we emotionally eat and things like that, okay? So maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was that type of clearing. Maybe it was that type of adjusting to whatever is coming towards you, right? You use, you tapped into your inner wisdom. You saw the compass. Remember I said we all have those spiritual compasses within us, right? But you have to be in tune with them, right? Mm-hmm. The intensification, you came out of that swirl. Remember we talked about, well, I talked about this. Hope y'all can see right there. So it can kind of give the illusion of the will of fortune or something, this energy that's just not coming to a close. But there you go. You see that opening right there? And some of you guys were in a disillusion or some type of illusionary energy that you wasn't going to come out of the cycle and things were very intense. Hella intense. But you came out of it, right? Winning. Winning. <laughs> yes, indeed. What's the, oh. So we got loyal heart and we got fork in a row. You're protected from not going in the wrong direction, not making the like a bad decision. For some of you guys, you are protected, right? This is your magical square. This is your magical um, path for some of you guys. There's a very specific path for you, whether this is, however this makes sense for you. It's gonna make sense the way it needs to make sense for you. But your path, your destiny, your journey is just protected. So if you're, okay, let's give you an example. You, you have your mind made up. I talked about this, whatever. You have your mind made up about something. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm planning my trip. I'm going somewhere. I'm doing everything. I, I'm preparing. Bam. That, the day before the day comes. Bam. Right? You got all your stuff together, all your paperwork, whatever you're taking on this journey. But that night, you up in the middle of the night. You can't sleep. You're like, what the hell is going on? And then something comes in, in front of you, like literally, maybe you see something on your phone, maybe it comes in the form of a download, maybe you find an old message, an old text message or an old email, and your direction has to go somewhere else. That's that type of protection when I talk about here. Because for some of you guys, there's there's options up in here. There's a lot of illusionary options, and, there's, and it's kind of giving me the energy of what, um, some of you guys need to watch Alice in Wonderland. Like you have to choose the right door, but it's going to be guided. Like you're not, it's, it's like, you're not going to be allowed to make no type of mistakes because you're literally going to be guided to where you need to go. And I think it's going to become fun for it for some of you guys, if that makes sense. What's this hand fasting card for the collective? What's this hand fasting card? You're, uh, if I tell y'all what y'all got it towards, okay. What's this hand fasting card? Or what y'all think y'all got it towards? What's this message? 
What's this? All right, pan fasting card. So it's, it's clarified. I was trying to get some, some clear indication. This is success. This is possibly a breakthrough for some of you guys, possibly with a Gemini. This is a this is Aries and Libra. This is children energy, right? Working towards a foundation for your children. There's victory, reward, success. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Libra up in here. All right, so you're standing, you're standing, 10 toes down, right? You're manifesting a mate. I'm going to be honest with you. You're manifesting a mate. However, this mate comes towards you. Your high priestess knows. And you're protective. This is also surrendering and protection right here again. For some of you guys, this has kept a long way to secret. This is a, a this is something that was supposed to be granted to you before, sooner than this, or in another lifetime or whatever, but it came when it was supposed to come. What's this secret card? You're gonna be prepared for this when it comes. <laughs> that wants to know. <laughs> When I tell you that this is so, y'all think that we just pulling cards and that's it? Baby Bubba, baby Bubba. Yeah. Mm -mm. Most definitely not. I'm asking Spirit, what is it? And they're saying you're going to be prepared for this. Whatever it is, you're prepared. Let me, I just want to be funny because they know I'm, I'm, you know. What is the messages? What's the secret card, Spirit, please? Please. Please. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> As a you two shall for receive, baby Bubba. Flowers in the coffin, I heard. Time for a nap. So they want you guys to give rest. For some of you guys, there's going to be some messages given to you in your sleep space now. Okay. If you're like me, the frustration is going to come because I do not remember the majority of my dreams. Okay. But if you set your intentions and some of you guys need to sleep with citrine, clear quartz and amethyst, but you guys, those, um, those, those quartz and those stones, they need to, um, crystals, uh, stones, um, they need to be cleansed. They need to be not just cleansed. They need to be surged up, powered up. Hey, Tyresha. They need to be surged up and powered up, my luggage. So let me tell you what I see. I see that this woman has had her kundalini rising. She knows who she is. She's positioned for greatness. This cat ain't had it. Whoever this is ain't had their kundalini nothing. But they are very, now they got this sword now. So this is the energy of reunion with the six of cups, coming together, talking, communing. For some of you guys having lunch, brunch, dinner, dinner in a movie, dinner in a movie. But there's some anxiety. This is somebody who has a crush on you. You know what I heard? I heard, and I promise you, well, y'all know I know. I'm, I'm being honest. I heard Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Leo love. That's what I heard. So for some of you guys, it's a Sagittarius and a Leo. For some of you guys, this could be your moon, your rising, your 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 your, your ascending. I'm the same thing, or your Venus. Somebody has Leo, or something about trying, or trying, or T R I N E. Um, Somebody looks at you with like, love, and lust. So they love you, they like you, and they lust after you. <laughs> That's like that. They <laughs> Child, please. It's intense, man. It's intense. They probably felt, if you've done some sacral um, healing or clearing or whatever, they probably felt that. They probably felt that surge with you. They... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> some of you that don't know what I'm talking about yet 
some of y'all need to clear your sacral because when you do that, you're going to ignite something in this this person is man because that's crazy. Like people are so connected, like energetically, and they could just be looking at you. They might want to know you through social media, but like once you start doing something, or like you start clearing and cleansing your sack for you, not for this person. I'm just saying, once you do that, that's going to ignite something, and they're going to get like a, oh, like they're going to get hard. They're going to get moist from you doing what you need to do for yourself. I'm telling you. This is indecisiveness too, I feel with this nine of swords because I don't know if this person used to be jealous of you or something about jealousy, but there could be somebody else. I do hear jealousy in, in, at times in my head, like it just pops up like jealousy. Somebody wants to find somebody. Somebody wants to look them in their eyes. It's something somebody is real. All right, somebody has a jealous, crazy ex. They're very delusional. You know, you ever look in somebody's eyes? Have you ever looked in a person, the eyes of a person who ain't wrapped all that tight and their eyes don't can't focus on you? Their eyes cannot focus. If you ever want to know if somebody is mentally stable, look in their eyes. If their eyes, I'm not talking about people who are cross-eyed or you know whatever i'm talking about people whose eyes are just lost in the sauce where they can't focus on you that's a sign that somebody is not mentally all there so it's like somebody has an ex that is like looney tunes and i'm not saying that to be funny or judging that's just what it is and i feel like see what i say about men or whatever and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this. When it comes to men who want a woman and they already have a relationship, but they're not really in like the relationship is near the end energetically and the man is ready to go. Right. But sometimes a man doesn't know how to leave like a woman can. A woman will leave and be done. But a man, it's like they don't want to hurt the woman. Like he could not really love this person or be over this or their children can be grown or whatever the case is. But, you know. It's something about protection or whatever. If this person comes around you, I just feel like you need to have protection around you. And in terms of if somebody is connected to somebody who is like not right, not not rap tight, then you need to have some type of protection. Now, if that's physical protection, you need to have a, you know, okay. But what I'm talking about is spiritual protection because you could leave a situation where you got all this energy on you and you come around by God itself. I don't like that. We can meet in public and in the, in the air outside, but as far as coming into my living space, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Me, I can feel energy like that. I feel energy through the ethers, through the computer, through the telephone line, through text messaging, through emails. But this is that type of energy for you guys. This is just like, you know, it's not this person is not bad. I just think that they're attempting to leave a situation to come to you without that clearing you need time to clear you know if that makes sense some of you guys that's going to be the, that's going to be the dealio you have to use your intuition on this some of you guys got pisces placements where you're going to have to use your um your intuition to guard you and be on it and you're going to have to let this person know i feel like look at this sword at the bottom this is you cutting communication when necessary. This is you also not being so raw in your communication as well. Only when you got to. So I used to, I, 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 when I first started looking at my birth chart, I find out that Pisces is my moon. And I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense because I'm sensitive and blah, 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 blah. So um, back in like 2018, somebody, when I was really getting into like spiritual, I like really getting into it. Somebody sent me a copy, like a real super, I wish I had that email still, but like a super detailed, um, copy of my birth chart. And it said that my moon was in Aries. Right. And so I was like, well, well I wonder why certain sites say that my moon is in Aries and certain ones say my moon is in Pisces. Right. So, um, I know that Aries is the first sign and then, and then, um, 
Pisces the last. And then so I was listening to something the other day and it was saying when I was born that Pisces, um, basically it was, it moved in as I was being born. So does that make sense? So I think I have personality traits of Pisces and Aries. So forever, why I'm saying that is some of you guys that might make sense for you. So you, you might have two placements in your moon chart, if that makes sense, where you go on different um, sites where it'd be like, oh, okay, so you might have this energy of being real fiery. Then you might have this energy of being passive. It made me think about this because of the, the high priestess. Okay, what is the messages? Tending to our soul's needs. I want to, I also, let me just say this too. What came up? We have thinker, right? Forging ahead, right? Um, broadening broadening our, our mind space. There can't be any type of um, energy that come towards you, people, situations that are going to throw you off your path because you've done too much work. And you're going to be protected and guided towards things that are more in alignment for you and guided away to, you know, from things that are not for you. Whoever this is, this could be family. This could be, I don't know why I hear intentions, right? Your intentions being so strong. This is loyalty. This is you still loving and being loyal, but this is being loyal to yourself and pulling away from people and things that are not good for you anymore. This is family. This is family. Somebody sideways, and you know when a king of wine is upside down, I don't want nothing to do with no upside down king of wine. Oh, no man. <laughs> so this is like this. Somebody who is toxic because they blame, they, what is it called, dictate? They give orders. They tell people what to do. This could be a boss. Or this could be your energy when you're not in alignment, right? You're bossy, you're critical, you're hyper, um, you're hyper something, like everything is hyper, hyper, all the things that make you bomb. When you're in when you're not in alignment, you know, it's it's a different type of energy. What's this messages? Sorry. Oh. Unfinished symphony, not for you. Something is not for you anymore. It's been played out. Somebody showed their hand too many times. Somebody is not in alignment. You can't talk to this person. Stop trying to change them. Stop trying to send energy towards them. They're not. That's this King of Wands that was like this to the side. It may be two King of Wands is for you. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Or it may be this King of Wands once you make it clear, like, okay, you can't come around. You can't call me. You can't talk to me if you still have this person in your energy. Because if you, some of y'all have consequences. Some of you guys been through this before with this person. Some of you guys been through this with this person before. Toxic love is a, when you're still toxic, it's, it's okay. It feels good, you know? When you're not toxic no more, it's, it's a complete turn off. It's a complete turn off. You have to remember who you are and you have to monitor your thoughts right now. I think that's very important. That's separate from all this. It's going to monitor your thoughts and shift the energy, dance, shake a tail feather, do whatever, drop it, you know, dance, dance, dance. I don't care. Pop it. Whatever you do, dance. Because dancing gets the energy of stagnant, like whatever, like if you're feeling good and then some comes over you, get that shit off of you. Get it off of you. Get it off of you. That's why I like having a young child. I love having a young child. This young man that is my son keeps me very much young and he tells me like, mom, loosen up when I need to loosen up. Mom, don't worry about it. You know things always work out. <laughs> He's nine. And he's special too, on top of all that. Listen to your children. Listen to them. Please and do. I made the mistake of not listening to my daughter the way I needed to when she was young. She's grown now. You see? Listen to your children. Some of y'all need to listen to your babies. If you don't have children, listen to your nieces, your nephews, your godson. Somebody got a godson or a goddaughter. You don't even call them like that. I ain't judging you. I'm not judging you. Please don't think that. 
You know I'm saying? You need to reach out to them. It's some child that you are very close to that you need to reach out to because they love you. And of course you love them, but you just don't call them enough because you're wrapped up all up in your head space about that third, the fifth, and the sixth. Yeah. All right, hold on, you guys. Hold on one second. We're just going to put like two cards from here. Go to the messages. Can I have three cards, please? What's the message? I'm not watching. Answers will come. Remove the energy blocks. Remember I told you the energy? Remove the energy blocks. Dance, shake, move, grind, whine. Dip it down. Dip. Get them knees lubricated. What's the messages? Go near the water. Sit near the water. This is submission towards yourself and your soul. I submit to my soul. I surrender to my soul. I surrender. I kept saying that yesterday. And look what else came out. You know, these messages are going to always be like what you really need. The other stuff is cool, but this is what you really need, your soul. Oh, I see it. Break away. Grow and, ex grow and expand with life. Listen, right? You're here for a purpose. You're not here to just be taking up space. You were here. You were born. You were incarnated so you could serve a purpose and do some magnificent things, right? So answers will come. Remove the energy blocks. You're not going to be good to anyone. I take this. I'm, I'm just, you know... Um, you're not going to be good to anyone unless you're good to yourself at first, but you have to do all of the things. You got to lighten up. You got to have fun. That's why I said some of you guys need to masturbate. Have faith for your own healing, right? Everything is coming in. The more you overthink, the more you worry, the more you stress, the more you're, it's going to come. I'm be honest with some of you guys, this is already coming for you. Something is coming for you and it's made its way to you already. If you're not even aware of it, but you, you need to have faith. Temper your emotions, okay? And inspiration. Breathe your inspiration into the world. Talk to yourself. Practice. Some of you guys need to be on camera and talking to people. You need to give them, like, talks and, and, and communicate. Some of you guys start a podcast. Some of you guys are needing to really get out there and put yourself out there. And I'm, I'm telling myself this, too. These messages, I'm a part of the collective. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. You guys enjoy the rest of the evening. If you ever want a personal session, you guys know what to do. I love you guys. Peace.